Good morning, race fans, and welcome to the 2023 APBA Gold Cup on Lake Washington. There's a lot to hydroplane racing that the average fan may not know. A lot of it's strategy, a lot of it's mental preparation, and the whole goal is you need to be at the start line at zero at full speed. We are racing here in heat when you're in between two other rooster tails, you've got your foot on the gas, mashing the gas as they say. There's two tons of water going next to you that if you move left or move right, you could go into that and go over. Because there's nothing like it in any type of motorsports. As we're going and we start getting to 140, 150, you'll start to see us lift the wing. And when, when you do that, that controls the airflow under the boat. And if you're doing it right, it should just be floating on the water and that's truly where the beauty happens. When that thing shuts and uh, you're in there, it's time to go. Bucket list racing is all about making your dreams come true. And so I couldn't think of a better match for me than to be with this team. So I've driven National Mod, Unlimited Light, Grand Prix, two and a half stock, five liter, one liter. The, the pinnacle of this is the boat I'm in right now, which is unlimited. So to qualify in unlimited hydroplane racing means that you need to get 15 laps and 10 of those need to be an average lap of 130 miles or faster. And so right now I've got uh, 10 uh, laps in and six of those laps are at 130 or higher. So I have four left that need to be above 130. You know, we're close, man, we're close. So to be qualified as an unlimited driver will absolutely be a dream come true. You know, that means it's official. In 2018, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer and uh, Felt like everything was fine, no symptoms, just all of a sudden had a pretty good episode of blood in my urine. I was like, wow, that, you can't unsee that. And uh, I went to the doctor, they did some tests. They said, you know what, um, you're pretty sick. You have uh, a very big mass on your left kidney and that needs to be removed. And uh, it spread, so it has spread to my lungs. And so basically when that happens, that's stage four and you start thinking about life. And I looked on the internet and saw, hey, I have a 9% chance of being here in five years. And so I was numb at first, but then when we started talking about the different treatment options, well, I'm still young enough, let's get this done. My cousins are physicians and they said, hey, you know what? <laughs> you need to go to Fred Hutch. That's where you need to go. That's where the best doctors are. We know a, a surgeon who specializes in kidney cancer and can remove that in the best way possible, and that's where I went. So Dr. John Gore did the surgery, and then Dr. Thompson helped me with immunotherapy, and I'm extremely grateful for how my story has gone so far. Welcome Obliteriders, how are you? Yeah, make some noise, there we go. I'm extremely excited to be here with you at Obliteride and all the work that we're gonna do. The reason why Fred Hutch obliterized on my boat is I didn't want to just drive a hydroplane and be, that's it. Hey, I got qualified, great. I wanted to take my voice and use it for good. Now I have my opportunity and, you know, yes, cancer's challenging and it's a challenging story, but hopefully mine's a success story too for others and inspires people to say, you know what, maybe I'll make it too. It's amazing how hydroplane racing and cancer, there's some similarities that you just wouldn't think of. Both, you're on a journey. And so in boat racing, I'm on a journey to learn and grow and become a better driver. I wanna be officially qualified as an unlimited hydroplane driver. You know, with cancer, I really wanna be qualified as uh, cancer no longer present. 